Hey everybody, how you doing today? Ram is yet here. This is day 73 out of 90 straight videos I'm putting up for you. And this week I'm definitely doing Secret of a Millionaire's Mind. That's my book of the week. Every week I try to switch to a new book. Just kind of rotate them because you always pick up a little something extra every time you read it. But also because I'm doing the 10K to 30 Days program in Big Idea Mastermind that I'm also going over a lot of Bob Proctor's stuff that's starting off in the first few albums, the first few videos that they actually show up there, gives you a certain level of quality information that gets you in the proper mindset to actually do greater endeavors. So when it, his uh, one that's in the back office is born rich, and that's so important to each individual because we must understand how you are born rich and the opportunity to invest and the opportunity to do things. So today, the topic of the day is the definition of a warrior. It's a combination of these two books and I'm just kind of manifested to ask you a question and then go ahead and give you a statement. What is your definition of a warrior? Now think about this for a minute. When you think of warrior, what pops to your head? Now let me go ahead and tell you what I thought originally probably for the first 20 years of my life of the warrior. When I think of the word warrior, I'm probably thinking of like Arnold Schwarzenegger or you know, some type of movie like that, Rambo or uh, Rocky, when you see these type of warriors, most of the time it's got to do with someone who's very cut up, probably pretty good at martial arts, maybe good with a couple of weapons that can destroy a pl uh, platoon of people or actually save a village all within a half an hour, hour and a half, depending on how long your movie or TV show is. So you got this image in your head of what a warrior is. And that's so funny to me because the majority, I think, have that type of image when it comes to a warrior. But really, it should be the exact opposite. For the warrior for us, we must think of financial warriors. Why? Because most of us struggle financially when it comes to money being one of our biggest obstacles. So when it comes to a financial warrior, what is a financial warrior? And I'm going to use Bob Proctor's example of a financial warrior that I think is perfect. He uses it as an example. I'm going to call this individual a financial warrior. Now let's think about this. You can be a cashier at McDonald's or the mom and pop store. Doesn't matter. This fits for you regardless of what your job may be. You could put $20 a week aside for an entire year. Now how much is that? That comes out to about $1,000. Now if you did that for 40 years, now 40 years sounds like a long time, but in my previous job, I did meet someone who was at the same job for 40 years. So I know it's possible. I've actually met people who've stayed with the same company for 40 years. So we're just stay along with that title. For 40 years, if you put $1,000 a year to the side, you'd have $40,000. That's just 20 bucks a week. Now it's funny, a lot of people retire, they may not have $40,000 cash just in their pocket. But that's pennies, really. Let's really think about this. What about if you had $40,000 or if you had $20 a week and you invested that? There's two ways of making money. There's working for money and then it's having your money work for you. Now, let's go to the second one. Having your money work for you. Now, so suppose you did some type of investment. And you said, you know what, I'm going to get 14% on this actual investment over the period of these 40 years. Now, that 14%... When I was in college, they talk about the average stock might be between 8 and 12% over probably a 10 to 15 year period. Yes, some years it's 5%, some years it may be 20%, but overall it's kind of between 8 and 12. So 14% is realistic. It's like having a C plus on a class. So let's go with that. The 14% out of $40,000 ends up putting you at $1.5 million in four years. Just think about that. $20 a week at 14% interest every single week will put you at $1.5 million at the end of retirement. And the interest that you would receive off that would be over $150,000. Now think about that. How many people do you know who can retire and say, oh, I have more than a million in the bank, and oh, the residual off that without even touching that million and a half that I can spend $150,000 in just on interest and living my life. Now think about that. You can be a cashier and invest 20 bucks a week and still retire to be a millionaire. Now if you say 40 years is too long, then just double it. Say 20 years of working, a lot of people do it. Maybe not you, maybe not me, but definitely other people do it. So just keep this in mind when you want to be a warrior or something. Let's think about the majority of us should be a warrior of our finances, of our life in general, and understand when it comes to it, when you have a plan, when you have a goal, and you stay towards it over a long period of time, you can be that cash um, register person who's going to have a great, better life than the one who may actually own the business. But you must have a clear goal, you must have a clear mindset, and continue forward no matter what. 
And that in itself will give you that form of richness and, and prosperity in your life. This is just a quick video of the day. I'm Ron Majette. If you have any questions about Big Idea Mastermind, definitely check the link below. I would love to answer any of your questions. You can check that out. Also, Instagram, Ron Maurice, you know, Facebook, Journeys of Growth. It's all about our own individual journeys of growth. So understand, you have a story to tell just like I do. I would love to hear your comments, and I'll maybe use that for my next video. I'm Ron Majette. This is day 73 out of 90. I approve this message, and I'll see you next time. Peace.